The global death toll from the coronavirus pandemic has topped 70,000, with over 1.3 million confirmed cases. The U.S. has by far the highest number of known cases, with over 336,000 reported, as the country's official death toll approaches 10,000. But public health and medical experts say the true number of COVID-19 fatalities in the United States is much higher than reported, due to inconsistent consistent protocols on reporting, early failures to identify COVID-19, and unreported deaths in victims' homes. The Pentagon says it's procuring 100,000 body bags as demand increases from morgues around the country. As hospitals around the country continue to report dire equipment and staffing shortages, the U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams warned Sunday the weeks ahead would be the toughest in the fight against the pandemic. This is going to be the hardest and the saddest week of most Americans' lives, quite frankly. This is going to be our Pearl Harbor moment, our 9-11 moment, only it's not going to be localized. It's going to be happening all over the country. Over 90 percent of U.S. residents are now under some type of stay-at-home order. North and South Dakota, Nebraska, Arkansas and Iowa are the remaining states that have no such measures, either on a local or statewide level. The White House's top medical expert on the coronavirus pandemic, Dr. Anthony Fauci, said Sunday somewhere between 25 and 50 percent of people with COVID-19 could be asymptomatic.